Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discuss about Cypress issue. What is the issue? When I execute my test case, I am getting E socket timeout issue. What is the solution I applied for this one? This is the things I am sharing in this video. Let's come to the topic. So here you can see for launching the applications, we are using the command cy.visit inside we gave the URL. Right? This is the general command we are using for launching the applications. After using this command, this is the right way, but anyhow I am getting issue as eSocket timeout issue. Let me execute this program. First we can understand what is the problem. Okay. So now the Cypress runner window opened. I'm going to be select this test case, which is login test. Let's see what is the issue I'm facing. So now trying to launching this anthra.com site. Still taking more time for opening this application because it is trying to fetching the response anyhow it is not getting let's see see here cy dot visit failed trying to load okay this is the right url here you can see we received this error at the network level the error is e socket timeout so if you see the command right, what is the situation? We don't have internet access. Anyhow, I have good internet network. You forgot to run boot your web server. From my end, web server is very good. The server also good. Everything is perfect. But still I am facing this issue. Because the page is not loaded properly. So that reason, it could not able to fetch the response details. So what are the solutions we have to apply here? So I have to give you the three solution. Normally, in case really it is timeout issue means you can give the timeout one. Okay, I'm just copy this. Go to this test case. After URL put comma, you can give this timeout. Okay, now I'm trying to execute. Let's see. After gave this timeout, whether it will be executed or not. I am just giving 5000 millisecond. After gave 5000 milliseconds also, the server is not loaded properly. It is not a timeout issue. Okay. If I increase also, you can try increasing the timeout value in cypress.json to wait longer. It won't work. Okay. If I increase the timeout, if I increase the timeout, let's see what will happen. Taking 30 milliseconds. But the, this is very long uh, durations won't acceptable in Cypress. Okay, professionally, you won't give 30 milliseconds. Okay. See, your page did not fire its load event within 30 milliseconds. Okay. Anyhow, this solution is not work out for this problem. I just removed here. You know, the second things I'm going to be give you the response timeout. Let's see whether it will be work or not. Anyhow, we didn't get the response value, right? So that reason it is not uh, uh, launching. Let's try with after updating response timeout. But it is too long. I just reduced the time as uh, 10,000. So before I gave 30,000, millisecond and 5000 millisecond both are it is not working 
I just gave 10,000 milliseconds, still I'm getting error, the same error. The problem is, it's not a uh, timeout issue. It is the E socket. Socket means what? The network. It is not connected properly with, uh, with your, this Anthra server. So somewhat it is blocking to your connection. So we tried two ways for increasing the time mode with updating time mode and another one is response time mode. So this is not a time mode issue. If in case if you are facing time mode issue for launching the application, that time we can try to update this time mode for increasing the milliseconds. Okay. The finally, what is the solution for this one, which is the E socket time mode? I just take this one headers. Okay, copy this one. I'm going to be remove this response time out. Already I told you it is blocking somewhere, right? It is not a time out issue. I'm going to be unblock that one, which is updating accept encoding zzip deflight. This uh, command will help you for launching this site okay now I'm going to be save this one let's see let us start to executing this test case see the applications launched successfully okay if in case if you are facing this e socket timeout nothing to worry just single line update after this URL it will be launched successfully okay I hope this is very helpful to you okay thank you guys